I share this video, I will not apply it to normal and chi-squared relationship. And specifically, I will show how we can get the probability density function of a chi-squared random variable from a normally distributed random variable. And specifically, we will look at the probability density function of a standard normal random variable. We know that equals 1 over square root of 2 pi times exponent of minus x squared over 2, where x is normally distributed with mean 0 and variance 1. And from that, we're interested in deriving the EDF of a pi squared uh, distributed random variable, uh, where y equals x squared. So let x have a standard normal distribution. Uh, so we know this is the probability density function of x x is a normally distributed random variable and we're interested in the variable y equals x squared so our function p of x here is x squared and we know that it's monotone it's uh, decreasing on the interval from negative infinity to zero and it's increasing on zero to infinity and we're interested in the variable y which is x squared on an interval from 0 to infinity, and we want to find the probability density function of y. So y is a function of x. Now in order to find the PDF of y, we can use the following theorem. So we can compute f of y as a summation, and I will show then what the summation is of. Basically, it's a summation of functions that are on monotone intervals. So it's a summation of f of x of inverse g of y times the absolute value of the derivative of inverse of g of y. Uh, we need to find intervals on which our function g is monotone. So remember that g of x equals x squared. Uh, well, we can call it g of y here. It's the same thing. And we need to the function g to have a continuous derivative. So here is our function, we know it will fit a parabola, and we can see it's monotone, it's decreasing on the interval from negative infinity to zero, i is zero at zero, and it's monotone, it's increasing on the interval of zero to infinity. So we found two intervals on which the function is monotone, and we know that it does have a continuous derivative there. So separate the whole interval into the two sets. Well, we also have a set in 0 equals 0. Uh, so our first interval is from negative infinity to 0. The function g1 of x equals x squared. And the inverse of y equals minus square root of y. Because we know in that interval, x is negative. It's from negative infinity to 0. So in order to get back our x, we need to take the square root and add a minus sign to get the negative x. And our second interval, we have x is from 0 to infinity, and our function is x squared, and our inverse is just the square root. Uh, and also, we need the derivative. So here, we're taking the derivative of minus y to the power of 1 half. We know we'll get minus one half times y to the power of negative one half and that's how we got minus one over two times square root of y and for our second function uh, we get the derivative of square root of y and that's one over two times square root of y so now we can plug in what we obtained in the previous slide into our formula so again this is the summation of the two functions from the two different intervals uh, so this is our first interval, and this is our second interval, and we can now simplify that. We can see we can take 1 over square root of 2 pi outside of the brackets, and then we'll be left with exponent of minus y over 2 times, well, we have a put value here, so it will be just this uh, plus exponent minus y over 2 times 1 over 2 times square root of y. Uh, yeah, so this is it. Here we just have y, and here we have y. 
So then we have 1 times 1 over square root of 2 pi times 2 times the exponent of minus y over 2 times 1 over 2 times square root y. And we simplify to this. So basically, this is our f of y. So this is our probability density function for variable y equals x squared, so y is a chi-squared distributed random variable.